Y'all was good with y'all, gang. And gang, man, we finally got some good news over there on the PC side when it come to GTA Online, man. First off, shout out to everybody that dropped these videos and I got all this information from TGG, GTA, man, Ted's Fun Suit. Y'all boys be on it, gang. I can't even much lie. But officially, GTA Online PC has officially received a brand new anti-cheat in the game called Battle Eye or something like that. And it only has taken Rockstar 11 years to do it. All right, gang, so let's go ahead and acknowledge the first elephant in the room. Yes, GTA 5 is officially 11 years old. Can you believe that? Holy crap, G. And yes, it has officially taken Rockstar around 11-ish years, close to 11 years, to officially add an anti-cheat to this damn game after a long time. Now, I don't know if too many people care and I'm pretty sure so many people gonna find workarounds to it and find ways to get out of the anti-cheat and all this other type of stuff because it's PC y'all is smart and people just love to just cheat on them games I don't know why but hey they just do it so it's taking them that long hopefully it's something that's good hopefully to bring PC players back or bring new players back to PC because one thing about me is I've avoided PC like crazy brody because of the simple point of fact that there is no anti-cheat and models run crazy over there no cap man but hopefully with this new anti-cheat man that kind of bring down some of that stuff bring down some of that craziness that is the damn gta online pc air like side of things and stuff like that and it'll bring more people back over there maybe even i check it out now that i know that PC got an anti-cheat and there may be a little less cheating over there with the mod menus and all that type of stuff. Like I said, I'm pretty sure people gonna know a way around it or whatever like that, but hey, it'll definitely be something that is good to see. From what I'm hearing, it's kind of like a hardware ban. So if you get caught detected of cheating, whether it be like your mod menu or whatever, I'm pretty sure it's just mod menu stuff, your whole entire PC will end up getting banned, meaning you have to buy a brand new PC and stuff like that. So if you do want to cheat or whatever, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's ways to get around it or whatever. I don't know the ways, but I'm pretty sure there's ways to get around it and shit without even having to worry about it or whatever like that. But hey, if you end up getting caught, then you get your shit banned. Oh, well, don't be cheating, gang. Another thing that I've been hearing is the fact that GTA Online on PC can officially be getting... GTA expanding and enhanced or the PS5, Xbox um, Series X version stuff. You know, when it come down like the career progress and HSW and just all that next gen stuff Rockstar added like a year or two ago. That seemed to be coming to PC soon. They actually dropped some files or some files was leaked or something like that. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff. Red Dead Redemption 1 PC files, which is dope. So seeming like those Red Dead Redemption 1 leaks or whatever. I never really talked about this because like I said, it was just a leak and I didn't really care. But seeming like that might have some truth to it, man. But the G, um, GTA 6 was in there. The Project America's file and all that was in there. So seeming like this stuff is actually going to be real. I don't know if Rockside intended people to see this, but hey, it's there. People seen it and uh, yeah, it's there, gang. But one other thing I will say I'm mostly excited for when it comes down to just that is the simple point of fact that again, PC players can officially get the brand new stuff in GTA Online as well as G Red Dead Redemption 1 coming to PC. Red Dead Redemption 1 coming to PC will be fire. That's something that I never even thought about even wanting to play, but if that shit drop, I'm definitely getting Red Dead Redemption 1 on PC. I'm definitely gonna be playing it. Hopefully some mods come out for it really fast, like some graphic mods and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's gonna take a while for that to drop, but when that stuff come out, that's something I'm definitely gonna be dabbling in. Y'all know I recently just got me a brand new computer and one of the things I've been dabbling in is GTA 4 modding. I've been trying to get into like my little modding thing or whatever. Just with like single player games. I don't really care to do it for like multiplayer or nothing like that. But if Red Dead Redemption 1 come out and it definitely gets some good mods and stuff, I'm definitely going to be trying that out. Now that I think about it, I do need to do a Red Dead Redemption 1 playthrough through and through on the channel, man. One thing I try to do, I like to do playthroughs and stuff and mainly Rockstar playthroughs. I do other playthroughs here and there, but not really no more because I don't really have the time. But I definitely do a Red Dead Redemption 1 playthrough through especially if it drop on pc i'm gonna wait though to see when it's gonna drop on pc you would think it would drop soonish i think they would want to drop that before they drop gta 6 so i would expect that soonish but again 
GTA expanding in the hands or GTA PS5 and Xbox One gonna officially be coming, not Xbox One, but Xbox Series S gonna officially be coming to PC. That's a good look though. Like, that's something that I wanted to know. Like, I just wondered like, why the hell don't PC got this stuff or whatever like that? And I guess it's because of some point of fact that they didn't have an anti-cheat. That's the best thing that I could think of, but I don't really know. I still question it to this day why PC had to wait so long or why PC didn't have the whole expanding and enhanced next gen stuff implemented in it anyway, which was actually stupid to me. But seeming like y'all gonna be getting it, seeming like it's gonna be worth it to play GTA Online on PC now. And I know a lot of people been asking me, like, Joe, will you play GTA Online on PC? And I always told y'all, no. With this going on, will I still be more likely to play GTA Online on PC? No. But I will probably test it out just to see what's going on. Maybe I do like one GTA 5. PC stream one day, maybe, we never know, but don't really expect it too, too much because at the end of the day, it's not something that I feel is a necessity. I got enough problems on PlayStation, got enough problems on Xbox, adding PC to the mixes will just blow my mind. Like I said, I may do it, I may not do it, I don't know, but we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, gang, it seemed to be a good day for PC players as far as GTA Online go, and as far as just GTA news, through and through, man. It's been a minute since we had something actually good to really talk about, so that's why I haven't really been uploading videos, man. But for PC players, man, y'all should definitely lock in. I'm pretty sure a lot of PC players, especially GTA Online PC players, could be able to rejoice, man, and actually be able to play GTA Online kind of freely in free mode sessions or whatever, public sessions especially. And y'all should be able to just get out there and actually play the game the way it was intended to be played, gang. So that's pretty much all I got for y'all, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about this down in the comment section. Are you excited? For the, are you excited about the new anti-cheat? Do y'all think the anti-cheat really ain't gonna do shit? I really don't know <laughs> at the end of the day because I know PC got so many workarounds and shit like that. And also, how y'all feeling about the new leaks that's dropping? Are y'all excited to see a Red Dead Redemption 1 PC port? Are y'all excited about the, the, the actual America's file? We didn't actually go into files or nothing. At least I don't know nothing about what's going on in the files or whatever, but they are there and they are present. So let me know how you feeling about that. But as always, gang, I love each and every last one of y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoy and subscribe. If you are new, become a member of the Almighty Gang. I definitely would appreciate it, gang. But until the next one, gang, I'm about this thing, man. Peace to the Middle East. I love y'all niggas. I'm gone.